Hello and welcome back to my blog. I'm reading something that I need today um, from Life 101. I don't think I've read this yet. I'll make sure before I actually put it up. So, I don't know why I'm saying that, because if you see it, then I hadn't done it yet. Um, it's about planning, goal setting, because I have a 30-minute session tomorrow with one of Joe Vitale's um, uh, miracles coaches, and I'm supposed to be preparing with something about goal setting. It's not that people plan to fail, they just fail to plan. That's cliche, right? Here is the truth about making a plan. It never works. If, however, you do make a plan, the chances of getting what you want significantly increase. When we say, quote, plans never work, end quote, what do we mean? Let's say you made a plan to do something. You broke your goal into action steps and estimated the approximate amount of time each step would take. The plan was for step A to take one week, step B to take two weeks, step C to take one week, step D to take a month, and step E to take a day. This would lead you to F, which is what you want. When you get to F, however, you may look back on your original plan with amusement. Almost nothing went according to plan. Step A took only a day, step B took a week, step C, as it turned out, had five subsets to it taking two weeks each. When you got to step D, you discovered that nobody did step D anymore. Step E took 10 minutes. Without the faulty plan, however, you might never have ventured forth to learn all you needed to know to get to F, F, to get to F. F is where you wanted to go. F is where you got. You just didn't get there the way you had planned. So even though we know it's probably not going to be accurate, we're suggesting you make a plan anyway. If you don't already have one, get a date book of some kind with room for daily planning. Then start laying out your step-by-step -step progression for each of your top ten lists. We strongly suggest you plan at least one activity from each of your top ten each week. Why? Ready for a hard truth? If you're not actively involved in getting what you want, you don't really want it. People kid themselves for years, decades sometimes, with a goal that, in fact, they don't really want. How do we know they didn't want it? Because they never really did anything to get it. If they really wanted it, we figure they would have, over the years, consistently done something to get it. We are a pragmatic pair. People look back and say, I could have been this, or I could have had that, maybe but they also coulda done more to obtain it. We don't want you to face a case of the couldas. Please do something about each of your top ten lists every week. After a few months of doing something each week, you may discover you don't want it after all. Without the action, however, you might not have known it. If you decide you don't want it, a slot in your top ten list has just opened up. If you're scheduling things not on your top 10 list and finding you don't have time for things on your top 10 list, we suggest you either A, rearrange your top 10 list, or B, rearrange your schedule. Break each of your top 10 goals into next doable steps. A doable step is something you can actually do. Learn to use a computer is too vague. Call friends who have a computer and ask the best way to learn to use a computer is a doable step. You can schedule that one. Give it a date, time, and duration. April 16th, 4 p.m., 2 hours. If you can't assign it a date, time, and duration, there's probably a more doable, next doable step available. <clears throat> then start writing these steps in your date book. Schedule your time. Budget your time as you would budget your money. <clears throat> Use a pencil as you're apt to make changes, but do commit to the steps you put in your book. Be flexible, of course. This is meant to be a spur to action, not a hog tie. For the next few weeks, plan hour by hour. The next month, day by day. The months after that, week by week. When you project a project to completion, pick another and start scheduling that. Sitting with the days of your life before you, all the time you have to spend on everything, 
and allocating what will receive which portion of time when can be confusing, exhilarating, painful, exciting, fearful, and a dozen other things all at once. But please do it. One thing's for sure, you'll spend that time doing something. The only question is, do you want to control your time, or do you want your time to control you? When you don't take charge, time, by default, takes over. And that's the end of that little chapter from Life 101. Here's a little quote from William James. They always have writing on one page and quotes on the other. <clears throat> we can act as if there were a God, feel as if we were free, consider nature as if she were full of special designs, lay plans as if we were to be immortal, and we find then that these words do make a genuine difference in our moral life. William James. Make it a great day, and bye for now.